You're doing all the right things. You eat well, exercise, and prioritize sleep. You're committed to taking care of your health. However, did you know that despite your efforts, some simple bad habits could be undoing all your hard work? That's right, and the key to overcoming these habits is recognizing them first. Once you identify these habits, you can take the necessary steps to address them. With that in mind, here are the 10 everyday habits that could negatively affect your health. Habit 10, choosing foods because they sound healthy. Do you know how food labels love to boast about their health benefits these days? Well, don't let them fool you. Just because something says it's fat-free or gluten-free doesn't automatically mean it's better for you. Take fat-free products, for instance. They often load up on sugar to compensate for the taste lost when removing the fat. And surprisingly, some full fat options are healthier choices. To avoid falling for the healthy label trap, comparing the nutrition facts and ingredient lists of different brands within the same food category is essential. Funny enough, some of the healthiest foods in the grocery store don't even come with fancy packaging or labels. I'm talking about fruits and veggies. They're as natural and wholesome as it gets. So don't be swayed by clever marketing next time you shop. Dig deeper and make informed choices about what you're putting into your body. Habit nine, not changing or sanitizing your kitchen sponge frequently. Believe it or not, your kitchen sponge can harbor a significant amount of bacteria, molds, and yeast, some of which can make you ill. What's worse is that if you're using the same sponge to clean various surfaces like your refrigerator shelves, the sink, kitchen counter, and stove, you're essentially spreading these harmful microbes around. To keep your kitchen clean and your family safe, it's crucial to disinfect your sponge daily. One effective method is to microwave it while wet for about two minutes. Additionally, it's advisable to replace your sponge at least every two weeks to prevent the buildup of harmful bacteria. Habit eight, dyeing your hair. While updating your look with hair dye might seem tempting, knowing the potential health risk involved is crucial. Research from the Norwegian Institute of Public Health suggests that using oxidative hair dyes and related products could result in various skin problems, including eczema, redness, blisters, and itching. These reactions can be pretty uncomfortable and might indicate more profound issues with your hair products. So it's essential to exercise caution when selecting hair products. Ensure you thoroughly read product labels and seek expert advice before booking that dyeing session. Habit seven, spending too much time in front of screens. Whether it's the TV, computer, tablet, or phone, we're constantly surrounded by screens from morning to night. But all that screen time can mess with your well-being. It can induce feelings of isolation, trigger depression, disrupt melatonin levels, and interfere with sleep quality. If you're addicted to your gadget, it's time to give those screens a break and try out some new routines. Start by silencing notifications on your devices and setting limits on TV time. You can even use apps to monitor your screen time. Additionally, make it a habit to switch off all screens at least an hour or two before bedtime. And if your devices have blue light filters like night shift or night light, be sure to use them. They help counteract the adverse effects of screen time on your sleep. The other habit most of us are guilty of is habit six, binging on social media. While social media has become integral to modern life, Spending way too much time scrolling through platforms like Instagram or Facebook can negatively impact your mental health. Research from the University of Pennsylvania suggests that prolonged usage of these platforms heightened feelings of loneliness and depression. This means that binging on social media can leave you feeling isolated and sad, which isn't good for your overall well being. So it's vital to be mindful of how much time you're spending online. Habit five, skipping flossing. Flossing after brushing might not seem like a big deal, but it's vital for oral health. While brushing cleans the surfaces of your teeth, it doesn't reach the tight spaces where plaque, the sticky bacteria-filled film that causes cavities, tends to build up. When you don't floss, you allow plaque to build up in these hard-to-reach spaces, leading to gum disease, a severe condition linked to various health issues such as stroke, heart disease, and diabetes. That's why it's essential to make flossing a priority in your oral hygiene routine. Habit four, mindlessly snacking on processed junk foods. Constantly snacking on processed junk food while binge watching your favorite TV show has more consequences than just weight gain. 
The excessive salt and sugar in these foods can stick to your teeth, attracting acids that erode the tooth enamel. Additionally, such snacks can increase your risk of diabetes, elevated cholesterol, and blood sugar levels, and even contribute to skin issues like acne or bloating. Replace your sugary drinks with water or healthier options like fruit-infused water and herbal teas. Opt for nutritious meals rich in fiber, protein, and vegetables to keep you full longer and reduce cravings. Keep healthy snacks readily available, such as pre-cut veggies, fruits, and portioned nut mixes, so you can easily snack on them. Habit 3. Sitting for long periods. Many of us are guilty of spending prolonged periods hunched over desks, especially at work. Yet, this sedentary behavior can slow down our metabolism, potentially leading to weight gain and increasing the risk of health issues like heart disease. Fortunately, there's a simple solution, taking regular breaks to move around. Even just a 10-minute walk each day can make a significant difference. Additionally, you can incorporate physical activity into activities you enjoy. For instance, listen to a podcast or audiobook while walking or invite a friend to join you for a daily stroll. If you're passionate about volunteering, look for movement opportunities, such as pushing a book cart at the library or walking dogs at an animal shelter. Habit two, using vape pens. Despite being marketed as a safer alternative to traditional smoking, vape pens may be harmful to your health. A study by the American College of Cardiology has linked their use to increased risks of depression and heart disease. Vape pens deliver harmful chemicals like nicotine, heavy metals, and volatile organic compounds directly into the lungs, potentially causing respiratory issues, cardiovascular problems, and mental health disorders such as depression. Nicotine addiction can exacerbate these effects and lead to dependency. Furthermore, the long-term effects of vaping on lung health and cardiovascular function are not fully understood, raising concerns about potential future health problems. So, the sooner you quit, the quicker your body can rebound and repair itself. If you're looking to break this habit, consider discussing with your doctor about suitable smoking cessation programs or tools for your needs. Habit one, excessive intake of alcohol. While enjoying a glass of wine with dinner is generally considered okay, going overboard can lead to various health issues such as high blood pressure, heart and liver disease, stroke, and cancer. Additionally, it can worsen mental health conditions like depression, anxiety, and sleep disturbances while also weakening your immune system. If you're thinking about cutting back on drinking, here are some tips. First off, set some clear limits for yourself. Try having a couple of days each week where you don't drink at all or only have alcohol on weekends. And when you do drink, try alternating with water or sparkling water to stay hydrated and moderate your consumption but it's also essential to figure out what triggers you to drink excessively. Try finding healthier ways to deal with those feelings, whether it's boredom or stress. You could explore healthier pastime options like meditation, taking a stroll, or contacting a friend or healthcare professional for support. So there you have 10 bad habits that can mess with your health. Whether you've fallen into these habits or not, there's always room for improvement regarding your well-being. Now, which of these habits are you guilty of? Or maybe there's one I missed. Let me know in the comments below.